crisscross force. A force is when you make someone pick a certain card and they don't realize, they think they picked a random card. So I'm going to have to do both the audience part and my part for this since there's no one here, but you'll get the idea. So you, you tell someone to cut the cards into two piles, cut it in half into two piles. They go like that. I say, great, I'm going to mark where you cut the cards. Now I want you to look into my eyes and I want you just to imagine a blank card, like a blank white rectangle, okay? Now in a moment I'm going to have you look at the card you cut to, and when you do I want you to fill in that rectangle with the picture of the card you're looking at, okay? Great, go ahead and look at the card you cut to right there. And I bet it's going to be the Ace of Spades. That's what I made them pick. Now the way this works is a little bit of mind misdirection, but also exactly how you have them cut the cards. You say, cut the cards in half into two piles. They do that. Now, the Ace of Spades, or whatever card you're going to force, starts on top of the deck. Cut the cards into two piles. Just track the top of the deck. In fact, I'm going to turn the Ace face up. You wouldn't do this in performance, but I'm going to turn it face up so you can track it. Go ahead and cut the cards into two piles. Great. Now, I say, I'm going to mark where you cut to. I take the bottom half of the deck, and I put it like this. Now I have them look in my eyes and I say all those words. That gives them time to start focusing on me and forgetting about what happened down here, exactly what happened. Because then I'm going to pick up what was the bottom of the half of the deck and I say, go ahead and take a look at the card you cut to. That's really just the top of the deck, the card you look, the card you set up. And they look at that. I'm going to do that again with his face down. Go ahead and pick, uh, go ahead and cut the deck in half into two piles. Great. I'm going to mark where you cut, and I want you just to look into my eyes, and I want you to imagine a blank rectangle, like a blank playing card, okay? In a minute, I'm going to have you look at the card you cut to, and when you do, I want you to fill it in, like with the picture of the card you're looking at. Now you notice I pick this up, I say, and I point to it, and I say, go ahead and look at the card you cut to. And that's how it works.